right, ho, 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 and welcome to another edition of Lab Rats. My name's Andy Walker. I'm Sean Carruthers. And yes, this is the holiday special that you've been waiting for all year, sitting in your basements, finger poised, ready to push the play button, because Santa's coming. How can you tell? I know, I like your hat. By the way, I wanted to just say, before we get on with this whole show, which we're going to show you, like, amazing gadgets, you know, things you can buy, the people that love tech. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Like, Matt spent the last half an hour, like, arranging this nonsense on the thing, and to be, you know, culturally sensitive, of course, for our Jewish friends, you know, the Jewish yarmulke with the Boston Bruins logo. It's like, it's like an insult to Santa. Woohoo! This is an insult to multiple things, I think. I don't know. Anyway, so I don't want that on my set. Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> He's going to go put it on. Uh, see? Go Bruins. All right, so <laughs> nothing speaks to me like the spirit of uh, the holidays like the Bruins do. You like know? ice hockey. Yeah, it's, it's just the way it is. I know. All right, so as you said, today on the show, we're going to show you uh, uh, Sean and my picks for uh, you know, fun tech gadgets that are out there this season you might want to consider either asking for yourself or you know, buying uh, for you, the tech lovers in your life as well. Yes. So um, I'm kind of excited about this. If you listen really carefully, you can hear the jingle bells of Santa coming. Yeah, there you go. So, <laughs> so let's take a break. And when we come back, tech toys for Christmas and other holiday uh, festivities today on... Santa Rats. Well, thank, welcome back to uh, Lab Rats. So before we get started with our holiday gift giving, uh, I should mention Hover.com, our fabulous sponsor. Now, this would be a good um, gift for somebody. It would be a good gift. Low-cost gift for friends and family. Buy them their own, either vanity email, mm -hmm. like mom at iloveyoumom.com, or if that's available, or something like that, right? So you literally could go onto hover.com, buy the domain. I think they run about 15 bucks or so. Yeah, depending uh, on what type of domain, of course. The, there's some premium domains that go for a bit more. Right. And then you, know, you could buy a year's worth of the email. So they have their own personalized email. And you could pop, put that, in a, wrap it up in a little gold box and give it to them. Hey, happy, happy holidays, happy Christmas, happy Hanukkah. Um, or you could even just like print something out and put it in a stocking or something like that, too. There you go. So hover.com, great place to buy domains and do more with them. Uh, in fact, we're going to get help you with your holiday shopping right now by getting started. Just zip on over to this domain here using this coupon. Actually, you use this domain, it'll automatically engage the coupon. You'll get 10% off any services that you buy. Yeah, so it's even cheaper than 15 bucks. Even cheaper. Wow. All don't, right. Don't say we never give you any gifts. There you go. All right, so let's get started with uh, gadgets and yes. tech toys. What are you going to start with? Well, remember uh, earlier I showed you uh, Sonos. I think I may have shown this off in my uh, Christmas gift guide last year. So there's a new new-ish thing called the Zone Player, which allows you to stream your music to a ghetto box or ghetto blaster style speaker mm -hmm. anywhere in your house. Yeah, so wirelessly. it's wirelessly all around your house, so a music sharing device. Mm -hmm. So one of the problems is you got to get a remote control out and search for all of your, your stuff, and mm -hmm. that's not always what you want to do. Sometimes you just want to you know, press play and go. So one thing they've just added recently is this device right here, which is their wireless dock, mm -hmm. and what it is is an iPod dock. So you pop the iPod straight into the top of that and press play, mm -hmm and it automatically starts streaming wirelessly from the iPod to your Sonos players. Okay, so it's like an accessory add-on. So you already have to have the Sonos system. To yeah, so if you have the Sonos system already, this, this is a great uh, addition onto it, and you can set it to stream to any of the different Sonos devices around your house. Mm -hmm. uh, it has a volume control right on the side as well, mm -hmm. so that you can actually just turn it down by just clicking on that, rather than having to go over to the device itself. So you don't even need to get your remote control out. You can just play straight from the iPad, uh, now, iPod. Now that looks like an old school iPod, does it what? It has an interface for uh, for the iPod Touch. Yeah, it'll it'll take any of the compatible iPods that have used the Universal Connector. So it's your iPhone or your yeah, and anything that uses this connector, you're good to go. Good so stuff. There you okay. go. It's 119 dollars. 119 bucks. Great. Yeah. And what if you you want to buy the uh, Sonos system as well? Sonos system, uh, they have uh, various components. Uh, the Zone Bridge, I think, is about 399, and you can get the or, sorry, the Zone Bridge is just over 100 dollars. That's what connects you to your network. Mm -hmm. The Zone Player is about 399, and you don't need the Zone Bridge for the Zone Player to work. Mm -hmm. it's, it's it's a mix and match sort of you setup. You can find the details at Sonos.com. Yeah, Sonos.com has all the details. Yeah, Sonos.com, check that out. Uh, maybe you want to add it to the system. Maybe you want to buy a whole kit for somebody in your life. Or maybe yes. you want to get it for yourself. Yes. Okay, let me tell you about my pick. Uh, and this is in no particular order, this, but, I, but I really wanted to mention this. This is the, uh, the Amazon Kindle. And uh, this is this device here, of course, you're probably aware. Let's get Matt to pull the camera back there and have a look at that. So this is a, a, what's called an OLED screen uh, on a player. So it's not lit. Uh, this is second generation. That's e-ink. E 
excuse me, you're right, e-inks, electronic ink, not OLED. OLED is something different. Yes. Um, and so it's an unlit technology. It's great for e-books, right? And so what yes. Amazon's done is developed the, uh, the Kindle here. You can download all kinds of e-books um, and have it play. Uh, and have it, have it appear on here and sit here and read it just like a regular book. There's no eye strain involved. Mm -hmm. um, the really nice thing about this guy is uh, it's a slightly smaller form factor, mm -hmm. right? Um, and um, they've introduced Wi-Fi. So, so the first generation was using 3G, so over cellular for free. But now you can actually integrate Wi-Fi as well. They have two versions, Wi-Fi and they have uh, Wi-Fi 3G as well. Yeah, and that makes sense to have Wi-Fi in it because a lot of people are, are actually at their house when they're uh, downloading their books anyhow. They're not always doing it when they're in the field, so why not make a cheaper version that doesn't have the cell built yeah. in? And talking about cheaper, it's $139. Yes. Uh, $189 for the 3G Wi-Fi combo version. So that's the uh, Amazon Kindle. Uh, zip on over to Amazon.com to check that out, get that out. Probably going to be one of the top favorite uh, gadgets, I would, I would think, this season. Mm -hmm. so there you go. Yeah, the one, one thing I like about that now that it's Wi-Fi is you can actually use Wi-Fi to surf the net on that. It had an experimental web browser in it before, but now it uh, is available in even more countries. They sort of locked it out in a few other countries where they didn't make the deal for unlimited Wi-Fi use okay. over the carriers. So okay. that's nice. There you go. So I got another one for you. Yes, sir. All right. In the in the realm of it's, audio, this is an a audio. Bit of an audio file. Right. So we uh, we. Uh, sometimes talk about recording podcasts, we sometimes talk about recording music. This is good for both. So this is uh, from Blue Microphones. They did the snowball a number of years back, and this one's called the Yeti. And that's because it's a big, abominable snowman type of uh, device here. It's a USB microphone, so on the one end it's the mic, on the other end here it's just a USB connector. Mm -hmm. So you can actually connect this into any PC that handles uh, USB audio. Mm -hmm. So PC or Mac. Uh, got a volume control on, or actually, no, on the front you've got a mute switch and you've got uh, a volume control for your headphones, so you can actually connect your headphones on, on the bottom there. Mm -hmm. There's the USB connector, or an actual tripod mount here mm. that you can use with professional kits. All right. And on the back, we actually have a gain, so this actually allows you to adjust how loud it is, mm -hmm. and also a switch here that allows you to switch between different types of mics. So you can use an omnidirectional cardioid setting and a unidirectional microphone. So right. it actually allows you to get the kind of quality you need and the kind of sound you need to uh, block out people around you if you want to get something a little bit more intimate. So $150 is the list price. You can actually get it uh, a bit cheaper on uh, places like Amazon. Right now, as we tape this, it's running at about $100. So it, somewhere between $100 and $150, you'll find this. And it's really good quality. So Great. Great for podcasting, great for recording your instruments. So if you have an audio file in your family who loves to do podcasting or just make music, perhaps, then that would be the microphone for them. That would be the one. I got it. Okay, good. I want to show you this. This is really cool. This is uh, the Fujifilm Real 3D uh, W3 model. So this is a, a digital camera, 10 megapixels, takes movies and uh, takes stills, of course. But the cool thing about this is that it also takes 3D hey, pictures. Hey, that has two lenses. It has two lenses. Lens number one, lens number two, just like you have two eyes. Mm -hmm. So when you take the picture, what happens is it will actually take a slightly offset image with mm -hmm. each lens and combine it for a 3D image. Yes. Ooh, can't get down can't that get close. You, get you down that close. Yeah. It's about the yeah. same distance so as Actually, yeah, if you look at this here, does this, does this, can you, is that's, it about the same that's distance as That's pretty close. That's pretty close. Not bad, right? So, uh, so the idea behind this really is to, to give you a camera that actually can shoot 3D movies and 3D stills mm -hmm. and take advantage of your new 3D capable flat panel television, which debuted at the Consumer Electronics Show last year mm -hmm. uh, in January and was, you know, came out sort of in your local big box store probably in the spring or in the summer. So if you bought one recently, at like a big flat panel, you may have the ability to see 3D. Maybe you bought one purposefully and you have you got those glasses. What's cool about this is, if I, let me just put it into play mode here. So uh, this is a picture I took of Sean a little early on. So on the back of the, the device is actually... Yeah, that looks like me. It's, it has a lenticular screen. 3D. Oh, look. oh, that looks 3D. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So it, you, it actually looks like it's a 3D image on the back of the, of the camera itself. Mm -hmm. Right? So you can watch that without the glasses. You, it has an HDMI connector here. Right? So it can plug into your television and then you can display the the image using the glasses that come with your TV. Mm -hmm. And as I said, you can also push play back for 3D movies that you shoot of your kids or, or whatever you want to do Very as well. Very good. Clever, right? $450 for that little baby. Uh, it's called, the, again, the Fuji Film uh, Real 3D W3, $450. That's a bit of a mouthful. Fujifilm, uh, Fujifilm.com to find out more. There you go. That's a bit cheaper than the, uh, the 3D uh, video camera we saw at Panasonic. 
but it is starting to drop down. Only now, so. if you, what was it back in the summer, right? It was only mm -hmm. four or five months ago that we were saying that well, this thing's going to be twenty thousand dollars. Now you can buy a video camera for and a still camera for less than five hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. Not exactly the same grade, of course. So it's a little bit lower end but from a consumer level from, perspective. From, it's amazing. It's perfectly fine. It is amazing. Okay. There you right. Go. So what do you got next? Next up, we've been talking about this one a bit. Mm -hmm. This is uh, my little wedge-shaped item. It is ah, a right. MacBook Air. So Apple's netbook. This is Apple's mm -hmm. netbook. It's uh, well, not sort a netbook kinda. as they say, sort of, sort of, kinda. So it's a, it's a netbook premium product. It's a netbook premium product. So it's, uh, it's really thin. So you can see on the edge, there's barely anything to this at all. Very, very razor-like in some ways. Mm -hmm. Very, very light. But the nice thing about it is it does have a full-size keyboard here. As you can see, typing on this is actually not a problem at all. You can actually use this for going out into your favorite coffee shop and actually writing without feeling like your fingers are all scrunched up like this, trying mm -hmm. to get to the keys. Mm -hmm. um, it is fully powered. It has a full Core 2 processor, um, a full amount of RAM. So it's not really compromising on the notebook end of the, those specs. Great looking screen, LED backlight. Uh, Full resolution, it's actually better resolution on this mm -hmm. than it is on some of the bigger MacBooks from the past. Wow. Um, the big thing, of course, you lose your uh, you lose your optical drive, so you can't put uh, DVDs into the, the thing. That's the idea behind a network, and really, that it, is the it, idea. It, it's it's hard to define what what segment this is in because it is in the realm of netbook, but the pricing doesn't match that. Because I mean, your yeah. netbooks you can rent by three hundred bucks. This mm -hmm. is what this is nine ninety nine to start. Yeah. Goes up to about sixteen fifty. So wow. it's it's really a premium. It, it, think of it as a really premium notebook that yes. is very skinny, a sub very portable or, sub notebook. Yeah. Who knows what the categories are anymore? Or a very high powered netbook. So right. it's it's not really either, to be honest. So. I got it. But well, if you can get that in your stocking, that would be a nice little uh, yeah. gift this year. I mean, in, in a lot of ways, you can do this with an iPad and some accessories, but this really beats that because it's all in one handy little case here. Very nice. Very good. Indeed. Okay. Um, speaking of, uh, well, I know you show some audio devices to create audio mm -hmm. or to play back audio. Um, this is my, my best favorite toy at the moment. This is, these are the Bose Quiet Comfort uh, 3 headphones. They're, um, the noise reduction. I'm going to turn these guys around and show you, right? So have they have little uh, speak uh, microphones here, and they listen for the ambient noise in the room, and they use noise canceling technology to uh, to basically eliminate the background noise. So of course, great for airplanes. Mm -hmm. uh, and in fact, it comes with a little uh, um, airplane adapter for the old school airplane ad adapter type. type, type Ooh, even has another flip down prong for the uh, two it prong. A, uh, yeah, it has a ones. second pronger. So, there, there we go. Well. Right, so um, these guys go for 350 bucks. Ooh. It comes with, so it's a very, very pricey relative to a, but I gotta tell you that the sound on them is just absolutely brilliant. As, you, as I said, they're nice and light, right? Mm -hmm. And they fold away, they come in this nice little case, right? So you can kind of flip it over, zip it up, take it with you kind of it thing. Looks like a little CD wallet. Yeah, well, not that is. you see those much anymore. No, I am, uh, and, and the other nice thing about this, which I have to show, let's see if I can pop it out here. It has a rechargeable battery with a ah. little rechargeable. Yes, yeah, so you don't always have to uh, replace it with uh, double A's. So there you go, see? Or triple A's, I guess, for something that small. But That's right, exactly. Yeah. And it comes with a charger. Very nice. 350 bucks from Bose, Bose.com. Very good. All right, and then you, sir? I you have, more? I, I'm, I'm gonna stick with my audio theme. I've got three devices that are audio related because I'm really a big audio fanatic. Now, I've been having uh, trouble waking up in the morning these days because my alarm clock broke. Oh, no. So I was deciding, uh, what am I going to get? Am I going to get one of those cheapo clock radios that sounds terrible? Am I going to get something that sounds really good? Uh, and I decided to go for something that sounds really good. And this is from Tivoli. So you might know Tivoli from their table radio series. Really expensive radios, mm -hmm. but they sound really awesome. And this one right here it sounds really awesome. And it has alarm clock functionality in it rather than just radio. So it uh, has two different alarms. You can set it uh, to wake you up. Uh, once, so a one-time alarm. You can set it up for only the weekdays. You can set it up for only the weekends, or you can turn it off completely if you if you really really want. One speaker on both sides of your pillow. Yeah, so it actually comes in two different versions here. So uh, th this is the basic version right here, just a single one. The, that's a standard Tivoli sort of mode. They have a mono thing that sounds really really good. If you want to, you can add a, a second uh, speaker on this for for stereo, and it's actually got a fairly long cable here, so you can actually put this on both sides of the bed. So if both you and your wife wake up at the same time then you can both wake up to music or uh, an alarm. And again, it's uh, really good quality here. Doesn't sound like much until you... 
turn it up. It's, that would wake me up. Yeah, that would wake you up. It's, it's surprisingly loud for something this small. Is there any way to put audio into it? Uh, yeah, and on the back, you do have uh, a couple of audio inputs as well. You have a microphone, or uh, mix in and an auxiliary in down here. Yeah. And you have an output as well. You have a uh, subwoofer, so if you really, really want the sound to be even better. And of course, you have a headphone jack over here. And these right here, I, I was wondering what these were for the longest time, because mm -hmm. I, I tend not to look at the manual. Mm -hmm. But these are actually your, uh, your uh, station controls. So if you don't want to cart around this or whenever, if you just want to change. Hello. Yeah, you, so reach you, over. you can just reach over and press it, one of those buttons to change what uh, station you're listening to. Does your death metal cow slaughtering music that you like to listen to sound good on them? That uh, sounds stunning. I bet it does, exactly. And, uh, and how, does, how does your wife like that? Uh, not so much. I got it. So okay. this, this right here is uh, for this whole set right here, yeah. two ninety nine. again a bit pricey. Yeah. Uh, $249 uh, I believe for just the single speaker. Um, it's, there's, we'll get the exact pricing on that, yeah. but there, there's a difference between the Canadian and U.S. prices on these. So Good. So there you go. Very nice. Does it come in different colors? It does come in different colors as well. So we've got the carmine red, but it does come in a metal color, black, wood grain, all of those. So you have a lot of choices here. Very nice. There you go. Cool. All right. So uh, finally, before we wrap it, it's been a bit of an audio video kind of theme this year. That's what people are into. Um, they like audio there's video. There's the flip video I want to show you. I know you're probably familiar with this, right? This is a I company am. that... Uh, that uh, started shipping very, very low cost um, video recording devices. This is a high definition video recorder. Um, what's, you, if you've seen these guys before, what's new on this particular model is it's got, first of all, it's got a new little jack on the bottom. See that says uh, flip port down there? Mm -hmm. And uh, that's uh, for a new line of accessories for like exterior mics and stuff like that's coming out in 2011. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the other cool thing about this is you know, the flip video before was just had a built in um, uh, battery. And this one now, let me just flip, flip this baby off. So I can. Uh, oh, it's just got a lock switch on the bottom of those as well. So oh, make sure your right. front panel doesn't come go. flying off. So let's pop this out. There we go. Right, and then we have a battery. That's nothing new. Except that it's proprietary battery. But what's nice is that you can also put your AAAs in there uh, as well. Ah, so if your proprietary battery dies, you can yeah, always just dies. replace it with AAAs. Just go to the convenience store and pick that up. Exactly. That's smart. So that's cool. That's uh, it's uh, still 720p. So it's mm -hmm. the bottom level of high def. Mm -hmm. Two hundred ninety dollars for that guy. Yeah, and that, that's for the, the high-end version of it, the 8 gigabyte version. It goes down from there, of course. Yeah, of course. So you can get cheaper than that, so. I still love this, though. Boop. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. So just that's why it's called the flip. Boop. Plug it into your computer, drag off the, the content, and you're, there's no messing around. There you go. All right, well, let's take a break. And when we come back, we got picture time and, of course, uh, a clip of the week as well. That's after this. Well, welcome back to Lab Rats Christmas uh, holiday special, I should say. Hey, you did a little wardrobe change. I did a wardrobe change, yeah. This is my last uh, uh, gadget of the, uh, the season. Okay. It's the new Scott Evest uh, Outback jacket, uh -huh. $150. Uh -huh. And this is gadget related because it actually stores all your gadgets. So it's all gadget up. related because you got it for free. Well, no. Maybe that too. Such a PR but, whore. But look, look, look at this. Hey, it's my headphones. Hey! Look. Look at all this is fitting into this jacket, and even, even this. I'm probably rustling like crazy here, but I'm gonna call you Russell. Russell. I think that's it. Oh wait. That's gonna be. Me. I got it. There you go. Hundred fifty dollars Scotty vest. Put everything you own into it. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, let's. Uh, so, and if you're still not satisfied, you still go. I still want to see something else that I'm gonna get for Christmas, or I want to give to my kids for Christmas. How about this? This is an episode of Gadget TV on our Clip of the Week. And when Christmas shows off, it's called Skitterbots. Skitterbots? Skitterbots. Skitterbots. So take a look at that, and then when we come back, picture time. Welcome on deck. I'm Matt Harris. Hi, I'm Jay Goldman. Welcome to the A-List. Hi, welcome to Miss Download. Now, the remote itself doesn't actually recharge via USB. You have to have, I don't know if you can see them in there, three button cells. Uh, they do come included in the package. So the basic idea here is we press up. We don't have to actually hold the button down. We press it once, and it'll continue doing that action until we press the middle button, which is stop, or until we press a different direction button. So for example, we could make him uh, turn like this, or turn the other way, or bump into that guy, apparently. Back up like that. Go forward like this. Welcome back to Lab Rats. So uh, if you want to see that entire clip, the entire show, uh, zip on over to uh, uh, butterscotch.com. Uh, click on the shows and go looking for the Gadget TV um, series. That's what Andrew Moore Crispin, every week he does uh, a couple of gadgets and uh, lots of, to choose from there in terms of uh, holiday presents and uh, 
maybe we're going to go after the Skitterbot. Yeah. Yeah. It's not just toys. He got, has some more uh, useful things, too. That's right. Exactly. Right. Good. All right. So now, my favorite part of the show. Wiggling the uh, Santa ball Wiggling around. the Santa. No. Let's take a wiggle. We're going to do that and make a really rude joke about that. We're going to move on to picture time. <laughs> picture time. All right. <laughs> we can do this again for a little bit longer. All right. Yeah. Matt's saying, get on with it. Like, stop. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. All right. So, so, uh, so who do we have this week? Mr. Photos. So we have, uh, we have uh, photos from our uh, friend Jordan, who actually took a trip recently to Kenya. Ah. And he uh, met some people. And he got some ignored some by some locals? Yeah. Well, I guess they were just uh, taking in the scenery. <laughs> but uh, he also uh, got serenaded uh, uh, by one of them as well. So. Awesome. Okay. There you go. Some, some good scenery and uh, good travel pictures. Yeah, fantastic. So thank thank you, you, Jordan, for sending that. Good stuff. Well, you can send your pictures uh, if you're so inclined. Maybe you want to shoot uh, 3D pictures of your family and send them to us after the holiday season. Mm -hmm. okay, so if you want to do that, you can email them to Wiggle Your Santa Ball in Nairobi, Kenya, or in uh, Ypsilanti, Michigan, at labras.tv. Yeah, and if you can't spell all that, then try. Who can't spell Ypsilanti? <laughs> Uh, how about just feedback at labras.tv? Labras that, that'll Labras. work fine. Yeah, zip on in. And we'll take movies too, you know, if you want to send pictures of your cats, your rats, your, you know, everything. Uh, or movies, you know, pictures, that sort of thing. Yeah, and if it's too big, send it via you send it or something. Yeah. Or what's that one you like, Matt? We, we transfer. We transfer. We transfer. There yeah, we go. Up to two gigs. Don't go. send us two gigs, that's too big. All right. Merry, merry seasonal greetings to you, Mr. Crothers. Thank you. Thank you so much. And, and to you as well. And, and to Matt and to the Bruins. And I'm just going to humor you here. Go Bruins. Woohoo! Merry Christmas. All right, well, have a happy holiday. Thank you so much from Lab Rats. We hope you had a, uh, we had a great year with you guys out there in Lab Rats land. Uh, and, of course, uh, Mr. Crothers, uh, always a pleasure to work with you. The holiday season, I hope you've bought me a very large, fun gift. Uh, I'd take that Scott Evis, by the way, if you want. Would I'll you? wrap that up. <laughs> That's good to know. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for pushing play this week. It'd be foolish for, here, for us to be here with our Christmas gadgets. If you're out, out, out there going, what am I going to buy Uncle Jerry this year? My name is Andy Walker. I'm Sean Carruthers. I'll see you next time. Are you ready? Check one, two, one, two, one, two. I'm going to give you an iron for Christmas. You're one to talk. <laughs> you, need a, you need a washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> he just has food bits, that's all. It's lunch. <laughs>